The conviction of Timothy McVeigh means the Oklahoma City bombing is a crime at least partially solved. What remains? The trial of his alleged co-conspirator, Terry Nichols, and the enduring mystery of whether anyone else was involved. It's a question that looms large for grieving family members, like Roy Sells. The case is still open-ended. It hadn't ended. So I think if there is a third or fourth guy or a fifth guy, I believe eventually they'll find them. The first question, was there a wider conspiracy, even one involving foreign terrorists? That was expected to be a central part of the defense. McVeigh's lawyer, Stephen Jones, traveled overseas and spent millions investigating other theories. But the judge shut the defense down, excluding evidence purporting to prove a conspiracy theory because he ruled the defense did not have evidence, so it was irrelevant. Question two, is there a John Doe too? The man originally portrayed in this sketch. He was never found, and later the government would say this man, Tom Bunting, was John Doe too, but had nothing to do with the bombing. But what about the testimony of Eldon Elliott? He owned the body shop in Junction City, Kansas, where the truck that carried the bomb was rented two days before the blast. Elliott said there was a second man with McVeigh that day, whom he couldn't describe. The most interesting unanswered question is whether Timothy McVeigh truly was a Lone Ranger riding into Oklahoma City. And there's the testimony of bombing victim Dana Bradley. She said she saw a man who did not look like Timothy McVeigh get out of the Ryder truck in front of the Murrah building. Question three, where and how was the bomb constructed? The government's theory was that McVeigh and Nichols mixed the explosive ingredients at Geary State Lake near Junction City. But at trial, no such evidence was presented. Instead, prosecutors relied on phone records to prove McVeigh shopped for the bomb elements. The government told jurors despite these questions, even if there were others involved, that has nothing to do with the evidence against McVeigh and Nichols. It's very rare that a prosecution can fill in every hole, can fill in every piece of evidence. The Oklahoma City bombing is no different. A guilty verdict today won't change the reality that there are some facts we may never know, answers we may never have. David Gregory, NBC News, Denver.